System 6 is one of the most exciting developments in 2GS history. It gives your computer a real boost in features and performance. The Quality Computer's System 6 bonus pack is an economical way to upgrade to System 6 and add a lot of other fun extras to your system. But you already knew that because you bought one. System 6 now features support for Apple's low-cost, high-resolution printer, the StyleWriter. It can also access Macintosh, Apple DOS 3.3, and Apple Pascal disks directly without the need for a translation program. The System 6 Finder has also been completely redesigned. It's now faster, friendlier, and more powerful than ever, with advanced features like tunneling and Finder extensions. There's a collection of all new desk accessories, including a calculator and file finder. Even the control panel has been revamped. System 6 also has new music and media tools, including a program that turns the 2GS into a digital synthesizer and sequencer, plus improved system support for video disc and CD-ROM. There's a set of special aids, including video keyboard, close view, and easy access, to make it easier for physically handicapped users to use the 2GS. Plus, there are a lot of new tools that will allow new software to do even more amazing things. For example, there's a driver for SCSI scanners. You can't use it directly, but it makes it possible to write a program that talks to an Apple flatbed scanner. Our System 6 bonus pack adds even more great features to System 6. The bonus pack includes useful desk accessories like a scientific calculator, memory and performance monitors, a mini finder for working with disks inside any program, a music player, and a scrapbook, even a program launcher. There are more than 100 clip art images perfect for desktop publishing or hypermedia applications. We included 50 digitized sounds. Use them as system beeps or in HyperCard GS. There's even a conversion program to allow you to use the sounds in HyperStudio and other programs. To make your documents even more attention-getting, we also included more than 30 attractive fonts for all occasions. And let's not forget the icons. We've thrown in icons for popular applications and their documents so you can identify all your files at a glance. As if that weren't enough, we also included several other utilities, including Flashboot, ZZ Copy, and Font and Icon Editors. To use System 6, you need at least one and a quarter megabytes of RAM and a three and a half inch disk drive. With only the minimum configuration, there are limits to what you can do. You won't be able to use the sound control panel to change the system's beep. You also won't be able to read Macintosh disks or run SynthLab. So we suggest three or four megabytes of memory and a hard drive. That will give you the power you need to take full advantage of System 6's new features. Frankly, if you're using a one and a quarter megabyte system with only three and a half inch drives, you won't notice a lot of difference between System 5 and System 6. But the more memory and disk space you have, the more new features you'll be able to use. We hope you enjoy System 6 and the System 6 bonus pack. Next, I'll show you how to back up your disks and prepare to install them on the hard drive. Before beginning installation, be sure to back up your system disks and bonus pack disks. The bonus pack utilities disk contains a program called ZZ Copy, which will make this process very simple. Or you can use any copy program that's familiar, Copy2+, FastCopy, or the Finder itself. Assuming you decide to use ZZ Copy, you'll first insert the utilities disk into the 3.5 inch drive. Now, hold down the option key while turning on the computer. When this screen appears, press 1 to enter the control panel. Now use the up or down arrow keys to highlight slots and press return. Use the up or down arrow keys to highlight startup. Make a mental note of its current settings and then use the left and right arrow keys to change it to 5. Finally, press return, then escape, then return again to exit the control panel. Your computer will continue starting up and the utilities disk will boot. ZZ Copy will take a few seconds to load. Then the utilities disk will eject and the ZZ Copy screen will appear. Welcome.
When you see the message, insert source, put one of your original System 6 disks into your drive. ZZ Copy will read the disk into memory. In a little while, the original disk will be ejected. When you see the message insert target, put in a blank or reusable disk. If you have two three and a half inch drives, put the disk into the second drive. Be sure the disk is blank, or at least that you can afford to lose what's on it before you put it in. ZZ Copy will copy the information onto your blank disk. In a moment, your new disk will be ejected. Be sure to label it clearly. ZZ Copy displays insert source again. That's your cue to put in the next original System 6 disk and start the copy process again. Keep doing this until you've copied all of the System 6 and bonus pack disks. Then, take the originals and put them in a safe place and use the copies. Now, turn off the computer. If you would like both System 5 and System 6 on your hard drive, you may install Switch Hitter now. We won't cover that procedure in this video, but you may consult the Switch Hitter documentation for further details. If you have an external SCSI compatible hard drive, you're ready to begin installation. Place your backup copy of the install disk in your 3.5 inch drive. Turn on the computer and skip ahead to the next section of this video. If, on the other hand, you have an Applied Engineering Vulkan hard drive, you'll need to install the Vulkan driver on your system disk before beginning installation. First, boot your backup copy of the system disk. In a moment, the finder will appear. Now, double-click the system disk icon to open it. Find the system folder and double-click it while holding down the option key. The system disk window should close, but the system window should remain open. Find the drivers folder, but don't double-click it. The drivers folder is where we'll put the Vulkan driver. Now, put in the disk that came with your Vulkan. If you have only one three and a half inch drive, you'll have to eject the system disk first. If you have two drives, just put the Vulkan disk in the second one. Double click the Vulkan disk. Hold down the option key and double click the system folder to open that folder and close the Vulkan window at the same time. Find the Drivers folder, and again, hold down the Option key while you double-click it. You should end up with two windows open, System from the System Disk and Drivers from the Vulkan Disk. Arrange the windows so that they don't overlap too much, and so that you can see the Drivers folder in the System window. Now, find the Vulkan Driver in the Drivers window. Use the mouse to drag this icon on top of the Drivers folder in the System window. When the Drivers folder icon turns black, release the mouse button. If you have only a single 3.5 inch disk drive, you'll need to switch disks a couple of times during the copy process. The finder will tell you when to switch disks. Just eject the disk that's in the drive and insert the disk that the finder asks you for. The finder will automatically notice the new disk. You don't have to press return. After you've copied the Vulkan driver onto the system disk, put the system disk back in the drive if necessary and restart the computer. When the finder reappears, your Vulkan icons should appear on the screen. Eject the system disk now and insert the install disk. Double click the install disk icon. Then find the installer icon and double click that. If you have only one three and a half inch disk drive, you'll be in for some more disk swapping. 
the computer will ask for the disk that it needs by name. Just eject the disk that's currently in the drive and insert the correct disk. Eventually, the installer screen should appear. Now you're ready to go on to the next segment and install System 6.